Hey guys, what's good? Welcome to Zooty Pickups. In today's video, we will be talking about the Nike X Off-White Zoom Flies. So this shoe was one of the shoes in the Off-White X Nike The 10 Collection, which was a collaboration between Nike and Off-White's Virgil Abloh. I, I talk about it pretty extensively in my previous review of the Prestos, but for those of you who haven't seen this video, I'll kind of talk about the collection briefly. So the collection consists of 10 shoes, um, I guess the 10 shoes that Virgil thought were the most iconic in the Nike archives, and essentially he did kind of like a off-white makeover for all of those 10 shoes. Within the collection there are two sub-collections. Um, one is called the Revealing Pack and the other is called the Ghosting Pack. The Revealing Pack shows the insides of the shoes, the cross sections of the shoes, to show parts of the shoes that you don't really see before, thus making familiar silhouettes a little bit more unfamiliar and making them more interesting. The Ghosting Pack uses translucent materials to give the shoes a lot more dimensionality and a cool futuristic see-through type look, such as these Zoom Flies right here. So talking more about this shoe, um, honestly I was kind of surprised that Virgil picked the Zoom Flies as part of the 10 collection because if you look at the other shoes in the collection, we're talking about like um, classics, iconic shoes, you know, like the Air Jordan 1, the Air Max 90, the Prestos, Chuck Taylors, and essentially you're talking about like classic iconic shoes. And then, then you have this shoe which pretty much came out this year. It, has only been out for a couple of months, but the fact that he decided to include them in this collection, you know, speaks a lot about this shoe. Honestly, the Zoom Flies have been my favorite shoe of 2017. Um, I actually have a problem. I already have like two other pairs of Zoom Flies, so the off white joints make my third pair. I really like them that much. So um, when I saw that. Off-White and Nike were doing a collab and they were doing a Zoom Fly, I knew I had to get these guys. These were probably my number one choice pick out of all of them and I'm super stoked I was able to get them for retail. So anyway, let's talk a little bit more about the shoe. The shoe comes in a very unassuming brown box. You have the swoosh lettering embossed on top with glossy paint. Um, I don't know if it's just mine, but mine's like super milky. Um, could be a defect because my Presto box, you know, it doesn't have that milkiness. But I guess it is what it is. Um, on the side, you have a translucent size label, and on the front, you have some Nike X Off White branding. Uh, the interesting thing is on the inside of the shoe, you can see that it's an orange Nike box. Um, the inside of the Presto box is a red sportswear box, and the inside of the Jordan boxes. Are black Jordan boxes so it's little details like this I think that really makes this collab uh, so great they really pretty much paid attention to everything so inside the box there's some Nike X off-white tissue paper inside the box you get an extra set of nylon rope laces you get a set of black laces and you get a set of white laces um, so the tip of the laces is super interesting it's uh it's kind of dipped in this kind of rubbery material. Um, the white laces have a green rubber tip and the black laces have a orange rubber tip. So this adds a little bit of color, a little pop of color to your shoelaces and I really dig it. One annoyance I have with these laces um, is that they're not the same length. So if I align the tips here, you can see that the white laces are considerably shorter than the black laces um, and normally it doesn't really matter but if you're doing something like this uh, where you're doing white laces on one side and black laces on the other side uh, the side with the white laces the shoelaces are going to be a little shorter and it's not a big deal but I don't know it, it really bothered me um, so it could bother other people it's just a little annoyance if anything I mean nothing major just a little annoyance you're killing me Nike, come on, you can, you can make the shoelaces the same length. So that being said, let's talk about the features of the shoe itself. So I would say the most standout thing about this pair of shoes is this upper material, this translucent stretch weave upper. 
I was really surprised actually. When people started receiving their pairs and posting their pictures online, they were complaining that, oh, I didn't know the shoe was transparent. I didn't know uh, the upper material was so see-through. But I mean, kind of boggles my mind because the entire design motif of this shoe is transparency ghosting right so that's kind of like the whole point of the shoe and that was one of the main features that really sold me on this shoe and sold me on the um, original zoom fly SPs I personally think the translucency is super cool I mean basically you get a blank canvas and based on whatever sock you wear you can totally change the look of the shoe for example um, if you wear white socks with white laces on this shoe right here you can kind of get that triple white look if you wear black socks with black laces in this shoe you can kind of get like a black and white type oreo look so essentially you know it's like changing your wallpaper on your phone or something like that you can customize the shoe without actually customizing the shoe it totally changes the way the shoe looks depending on what socks you wear and i think that's probably one of the coolest features of the shoes in the Ghosting collection. So that being said, I do understand the hesitation some people have about this shoe. And as you can see, it is super duper transparent. You can literally see my fingers right through there. But I think you can really use that to your advantage when styling outfits with this shoe. So let's move on to the toe cap here. The toe cap has a transparent fuse overlay that goes all the way around. It's totally transparent, it has no color, so it's kind of hard to see, but the glossiness of the toe box here kind of changes the texture of the toe box and makes what could be kind of like a boring design a little more exciting. Moving up the lateral section of the shoe, we have a big swoosh roughly stitched on. The swoosh is made out of this holographic sheet material, you know, the type of material that where you like rotate it and you see different images. Um, this isn't actually like a hologram or anything like that, but the material just kind of feels like it. Um, moving up towards the tip, we have the iconic orange tab, which is kind of like a universal design feature across all the off-white X Nike shoes. And moving up towards the heel, you have this translucent heel tab. The original Zoomfly SPs, do not have that heel tab, it just says Nike Racing, but the off-white Zoom Flies have this uh, little heel tab here for a little added visual interest. Moving on to the medial side of the shoe, you can see that there's some print here. It says off-white for Nike, Nike Zoom Fly, Beaverton, Oregon, USA, 2017. Um, one thing to note on here is that the quality of the print is actually really good compared to some of the other prints that are printed on mesh or fly knit. This is printed on this stretch weave upper which is basically like a plastic sheet so the ink takes really well and you get this clear crisp print. So I really like that. That's nice and clean. Uh, moving up towards the top of the shoe, you have this oversized asymmetrical ergonomic tongue. Um, this is very similar to the tongue that you get on the Zoomfly SPs, but if you compare them side by side, you can see that the tongue on the off-whites are a little higher and a little more exaggerated, but roughly it maintains the same shape. Um, because of that, when you're wearing this shoe and you put your foot in it, the tongue definitely sits a little higher on your shin and it kind of creates for a cool silhouette. On the side you have the Nike label woven vertically which is another common feature on the 10 collection. So let's move on to the inside of the shoe and this is where things get really interesting. Um, fittingly enough I think Virgil put one of the most interesting design features of the shoe on the inside and because of the whole ghosting translucent design motif, you can actually see these interesting design features from the outside. So the Zoom Flies, they don't really have like fly wire or external cage for midfoot lockdown. Essentially what they have is a upper that folds in on itself to kind of create these loops here and the shoelaces go right through these loops and when you tighten the shoelaces, the entire upper just kind of tightens in on itself. 
But what that creates is these strands right here on the side uh, where the upper kind of folds in and goes under the sole here. These uh, strands on the regular zoom flies, you can see they're just, they're just kind of like straps. They just go down in straight lines like so on either side, give you that midfoot lockdown. On the off-white zoom fly though, they did some interesting stuff. Um, on the lateral side, you can see the upper material is just one solid piece. It's just one giant piece of this kind of like suede feeling fake leather and there's one hole punched in right there. That hole is in a very geometrically pleasing location right here. It nestles right into the inner curvature of the swoosh right there. On the other side, you can see that the material is cut in a diagonal pattern, which is the iconic off-white diagonal pattern. Um, this is interesting because, I mean, I might be wrong, but I haven't really seen the off-white diagonal pattern in any of the other shoes in the 10 collection. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe I am, but um, as far as I know, this is the only shoe with the off-white diagonal pattern. So that's really cool that, um, you know, he snuck that in there in these shoes. So the, um, the material that the inside of the shoe is lined with, like I said, is this kind of like felty um, fake leather material and it goes around the heel and it provides a lot of lockdown. It's a lot more stiff than the felty leather material used in the Nike Lab Zoomfly SPs. Um, it provides a lot more rigidity and structure, but uh, the trade-off is that this shoe is heavier than the Zoomfly SPs from Nike Lab. I mean, that makes sense because this is a performance running shoe and this is more of a casual, like, fashion shoe. So, you know, I don't think they're really too worried about keeping the weight down. I think they, they wanted to build a more sturdier shoe. On the inside, you can see um, co-branded insole. It says the 10 and you have the Off-White X logo on there. And if you move down to the forefoot, you have these little spikes all throughout the footbed right there. Um, they feel kind of nice when you put your foot on them, but like, you know, after you wear the shoes for a while, take your feet out, you're going to have little like spike imprints on the bottom of your foot. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that, but they're kind of like little massaging spikes. They're nice. Um, it's a nice little touch and besides they look really cool. So let's move on to the midsole. So the midsole of this shoe is exactly the same as what you would see on a Zoom Fly or a Zoom Fly SP. It's a, a Lunar Lawn midsole with a carbon fiber plate uh, embedded in the middle. At first I thought um, this shoe might not have the carbon fiber plate because this is not a performance shoe, but upon receiving it and bending it and trying it on, I can definitely confirm that there is the carbon fiber insert. The, the color of the Lunar Lawn is this kind of like off-white colorway that they call muslin. And on the lateral side, you have uh, the words foam printed on there. Moving to the bottom, you got some black rubber tread on the forefoot strike area. You got some exposed Lunar Lawn on the midfoot. And then you have some transparent rubber treads on the heel in line with a ghosting theme. So yeah, I think that pretty much sums up all the features of this shoe. Um, so how does it feel on foot and how comfortable is it? So one thing I have to address is the sizing of this shoe. Um, a lot of people are saying that this shoe fits small and then you should probably size up. And I kind of agree. Um, this shoe is a performance shoe. Well, not this shoe, but the shoe it's based off of, the Zoomfly SP. This is a performance running shoe. And this is designed to fit like a compression sock. It's supposed to compress your feet so when you're running, your foot doesn't move around in the shoe so you don't get blisters. Um, how does that carry over into casual wear? Well, not so well. Obviously, you know, when you're running, you're probably not going to be running for a extended period of time, maybe like an hour at the most. But if you're wearing a shoe casually, you're going to be wearing it for like six plus hours so that compression might eventually kind of start to annoy you a little bit and cause some discomfort uh, however what i can say is that the material here the the stretch weave material does expand out over time the um original pair of flynet sps that i have um have bagged out a little bit over time and my feet feel a lot less 
restricted in there. So I'm assuming, you know, with time and multiple wears, these off-white zoom flies will eventually bag out as well. Um, but if you can, I would definitely recommend getting half a size up to a full size up if you're just getting these for casual wear. Apart from that though, the comfort on these shoes is excellent. Um, as you can see, you're sitting on a thick bed of Lunar Lawn, super comfortable, and you have that carbon fiber plate that, you know, it's supposed to increase your running economy, but just walking around, you know, that carbon fiber plate, it will give you a literal spring in your step. Um, so it's definitely nice to have. All in all, I think all the design elements of the ghosting pack are executed perfectly in this shoe. I mean, honestly, I think the Zoom Fly is probably the shoe that changed the least from the original version, which was the Zoom Fly SP, out of all the shoes in the 10. But I think that's a point moot argument because the original shoes were so avant-garde to start with, you know, they didn't really have to change too much to create an awesome shoe like this. So yeah, I am going to throw these on foot and I'm going to try to put on different socks to illustrate my earlier point to you guys, how socks pretty much changed the entire look and feel of these shoes. I'm going to try some white socks, I'm going to try some black socks, and I'm going to try some really colorful crazy socks. So yeah, hopefully this video was helpful if you guys were interested in this shoe. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.